welcome to this ladies spring jeep quick tip guide video today we're going to be talking about the actual difference between the dana 44 and the dana 30 axle but we're going to be talking about the difference in the actual differential when are you going to hear this you're going to hear this when you start talking about re-gearing when you start talking about and hearing when you hear the carrier size uh, when you're talking about gearing uh, that all has to do with the differential so the size of the differential in the Dana 30 is going to be smaller than the size of the differential in a Dana 44, which then is going to impact your carrier size and your gear size. So today for our quick tip, I just want to jump in and I want to show you the difference between a Dana 44 front end and a Dana 30. So you can see for yourself the difference in size, the difference in design, and the actual difference in those axles themselves. So I'm going to flip this around and we're going to go ahead and get started and look at that together. So this is a Dana 44 axle and you can see the differential right there in the middle and this is a Dana 30 axle. Now this is a trust Dana 30 so that is what you're seeing next to the differential is a full truss. But you can see the difference in size and shape on the Dana 30 front end in the differential. And then now in the Dana 44, you can see the difference in size and shape. So now we're back out from underneath the Jeep. You got to see for yourself the difference between a Dana 44 and a Dana 30 and what that differential difference looks like for yourself. I am Kristen DeLibro from LadyJeepers.com. I believe that knowledge builds confidence. And look for more of these quick tip videos from us the entire month. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, ladies.